What's up YouTube? It is your Centaurian back with another video coming to you from the House of Roma. Okay, today's video, I'm going to go over two fantastic alternatives to a couple of Mugler fragrances that are out there. The best thing about these is Mugler, everybody knows, is kind of very hard to get. They're disc a lot of them are discontinued, so you're going to have to buy them at aftermarkets or from other people, and the price tag is quite high. So, the beautiful thing about these two fragrances that I'm going to show you today, not only are they extremely close to the originals, but the price just cannot be beat. So stick around, we'll get into that video in a second. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to welcome you, thanks for stopping by. If you get anything out of this video, if you could hit that like button, and if you like what I do and you like what you see, then you know what else to hit. Also stick around to the end of this video for the Instagram shout out of the day. Okay, so if you're familiar with the Mugler line, you know they've had a lot over the years, and they were kind of a benchmark fragrance, a gourmand fragrance when they first came out, geez, probably 20 years ago or maybe even more. This is such a signature scent here for the Mugler line. If you're familiar with these, you know what they smell like. The price tag is quite high on these. Even when they came out for a one ounce bottle was probably, $150. Back then, even a lot of your designer fragrances were still maybe between uh, 70, 90 bucks, 100 bucks was kind of pricey. This definitely was up there more on the top shelf line. I felt it was worth it though. I did have a bottle of the original Angel. This here is Amen and a bottle of Pure Malt. I have a bottle of Energy or AKA Shots. And I have quite a few other samples that I got from Sensplit. So the samples that I got in Sunsplit, one of them was Pure Malt, because you hear a lot about the Pure Malt uh, Mugler fragrance, how great it is, uh, chocolatey, smoky. Pure Havan is another one that it gets compared to quite a bit. And I, they, to me, they're all fantastic. I love the Mugler line here. So in browsing the fragrance world, like a lot of us fragheads do on a daily basis, I came across on eBay, a line that just had a picture of the box, didn't really know much about it. I went to even try to look it up on uh, Fragrantica and there was nothing there. So I just started reading and I assumed, hmm, this is probably gonna be an alternative to Mugler. And this is what it is. There's the box, here's the bottle. So as most replicas do, they have some type of trace that connects it to the original line. So Starman, Star, Angel, Sky, you get the picture. So I went ahead and picked it up and was anxiously awaiting it. And I got it on eBay, came rather quick. I wanna say within two days, right to my mailbox. Pulled it in, opened the box up, took the cap off, Try to check to see what type of scent I could get just right off of the cap. And FYI, it is always gonna be very different when you just take a sniff from the cap versus an actual spray in the air. But it did give me a little hint of that angel DNA. So let's go ahead and give it a spray. Very good atomizer. Nice big cloud here. And yes so perfect this is in fact this smells a lot more like the original angel for men which is very very hard to find versus the actual amen amen still does have the scent profile in the dna here but the original angel which i believe came in like a star shaped chrome bottle or a bottle that was like this but it was all chrome shiny silver which that one is extremely rare and hard to get I do have both of those. And yes, just like the original Angel. That's so sweet, powdery, kind of velvety. I'm getting like a lavender vibe to this. A little floral. This is definitely for an acquired nose or acquired scent. So elegant, uh, going for a night out or date night. 
unique individual is gonna wear this one. Just not your average, I'm going out daily, or you, I'm wearing this to the gym, or it's my daily fragrance. Now, a little bit floral, powdery, spicy, it's got a little spice in there. I would say it's still good for business meeting, professional, elegant. I know the original had extreme longevity, which was also why the price tag of it was a little bit high. This one smells a lot like it. Again, almost an exact duplicate. However, I'm not sure if it will have the longevity or the staying power, the, the loudness of it, and its projection. As I said, the original Muglers, and, and actually most of the line there and after the original Angel and Amen, those had those were beast those projected like crazy you could smell somebody if they were wearing that and walked in a room and left the room and you came in that room an hour later you could still catch the notes of that scent in the room so there it is starman now this is actually from fragrance world i didn't go to their website yet to look up to see if that has any notes or uh, any details on the bottle and when this was launched um, I'll do that a little bit later and maybe if I do find some information throw that down in the description for you But Starman here fragrance world great alternative to your Mugler amen or even angel now number two Which is also another coveted Mugler fragrance pure malt very chocolatey again a gourmand uh, kind of spicy a little woody and Starman actually has a version of that as well called Nebula. So once I put an order in for the original Starman, this one came up on my feed. When did a little bit of uh, research and I found a video uh, with Ash from Gent Sense talk about this and he claimed that this is a dupe of pure malt. So I went back, picked it up, and came in the mail two days later. And yes, oh man, spicy, woody, chocolatey, just, oh, this is a fantastic fragrance. And if you have the original, you know what that one smells like. I have a sample of it that I got from Sensblit, as I mentioned earlier. And yes, this smells, oh my goodness, so exactly exactly like the same thing there is a little bit of different i believe this one is a little bit more spicier pure malt is a little more chocolatier just a beautiful fragrance here both of these fantastic fragrances great scent profiles again i don't know what the projection and the longevity is going to be i'm going to wear these this weekend then i'll be able to maybe do a follow-up video and let you know how it went but fantastic fabulous alternatives to the Mugler line okay now I save the best for last right how much does it cost what does it cost well I want to say most of the original line that are discontinued you're gonna spend for these bottles anywhere between 180 and I've seen them priced up to 300 for a brand new unopened bottle again I do feel that they are worth the money if you have it um, because you don't need to use that much of it and it'll last you for a really long time. Okay, here it is for these $40 each. <laughs> when I got these in and I smelled, I could not believe they were $40 each. A $40 replica of a otherwise $150 to $300 fragrance to me is a no brainer. I know most people would probably say it's more of a fall or winter fragrance, but hey, it's your fragrance. If you like it, go ahead and wear it. So there you guys have that. Those are the alternatives right there. I don't know what the availability is on those. I may have gotten lucky and just got them at the right time. I don't know, but if you like those other Mugler scents or you want to even try these, instead of even just buying a sample, which a sample is going to cost you anywhere between maybe 15 to yeah, 12 to 15 dollars for a sample may as well splurge another 20 bucks on that 25 dollars and get a full bottle i guarantee you, you'll like them you'll love them they are great great fragrances for any time and for our instagram shout out for the day is 
for the perfume teacher. Go and check out his page on Instagram. He's got really, really great content and consistent. He puts out videos all the time, many, many different varieties. Go check him out. You'll like his content. All right, that's about all I have for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it. Until we see each other on the battleground for the next video. Thanks for watching.